look at them edges like, okay, what? This is my hair. B. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Divas and Devos, so you guys already know what time it is. This is about to be in my first wig video tutorial, wig review. Let's just get into this real quick. I'm not gonna like keep you guys for too long, okay? But I'm not gonna wear a stocking cap, a wig cap today, only because when I wear the wigs from my first wig or their sister site RPG show, they the the lace on those wigs are so transparent like you know what i'm saying like you cannot even see the lace on it so honestly i don't even need a wig cap but my first wig so your wig let's get into this ladies okay so your wig does come in one of these sturdy boxes and it does say on the front of it my first wigs okay in case you guys are not familiar with the website they are a sister company to rpgshow.com and you do get like some really great amenities when you order the wigs now like first of all i told you guys that the lace be like melted in your skin okay like seriously the lace like the last couple of wigs that i've gotten from my first wig and rpg show wigs like the lace is like phenomenal like i'm like i'll be forgetting i'll be having on a wig okay so if you can forget that you have on a wig, then you know what I'm saying? You really doing it big. Like when you wear a wig, you must do. Okay, anyway. You do get one of these pouches and inside of it, you will get a couple of things. You'll get, for one, you'll get a wig cap. You also will get some hair pins, bobby pins. You also get one of these, which I love, which is the rat tail comb. These are great, especially for applying your wig in your wig like i'm saying two of these clips which says my first wigs which do come in handy so we gonna put that right there you'll get one of these instruction pamphlets also with it also they do have and i think it's to purchase their flyaway wig tamer which is just a wax and it does help so i will definitely be using it so this wig here this is one of their new arrivals this is the high density unit it's 200 density it is light brown lace it's 20 inches and i'll put all of the information information below for you guys for this but you do get six inches of parting space with their lace fronts okay and it did come with an elastic band but i did sew it in already so you get all of this back here okay all of this and it is a pre-plucked hairline i bleached it um but yeah you it's a pre-plucked hairline their hairlines are bomb and i also did pre-pluck it some more it has the combs right here in the unit and also then in the back portion you have the comb and the adjustable strap and the extra lace that you'll want to cut off okay so like i said i did bleach it i just feel like if you bleach it you make it look more natural so I did use a 30 developer along with the salon pro blue bleach and i just sewed the elastic band in okay love so we're gonna start off with trying it out without a wig cap i wanted to see how natural it looks and also for you guys to see how natural it looks without a wig cap and keep in mind that it all depends on the wig cap and how you apply it the color of the wig cap so as you guys see mine is cut off in at the top because i like to cut them open that way they stay and i'm thinking i like it a lot better without the wig cap because the lace is so transparent you don't want to see the wig cap but there also are ways to work around it if you do really want to wear a wig cap but me i just part my hair in certain areas so when i do not want to wear a wig cap then i'm good to go so let's just do her without the wig cap so i'm just going to brush back all of the little flyaways and baby hairs and then i'm going to use my favorite one of my favorite hairsprays which is the aussie instant freeze so that way it keeps the hairs in place so when i'm cutting the lace off I don't cut any of the hairs, even though a few little hairs is okay because you know you pre pluck them anyway, which I did to this unit. But I do prefer to use a smaller pair of curved scissors when cutting my lace. And as you guys see, I am not cutting it all the way up to the hairline. I am just cutting and leaving a little bit less, a little bit lace on the unit because it's so transparent. And also because I don't want any of the hairs to fall out if they are actually on the edge edge of the wig. So Keep that in mind, you do want to leave on a little bit of lace, you know, so that way your hairs are not so close to the hairline. So 
So as I told you guys, I did pre-pluck the hairline of this unit. You don't really have to, it's up to your preference, but I just choose to. Now this portion right here for all of my new followers, because I know you guys are very familiar with this. This is just me making my sideburns, you know, parting it and getting my sideburns. I don't want them too thick, so that is the reason why I'm thinning them down a little bit. And I'm also going to cut them with this eyebrow trimmer, so that way I don't have a blunt cut by using scissors. And I'm going to go ahead with my mousse from the Dollar Tree, which I absolutely love. This is the Salon Selective in the pink can. And I'm going to sculpt my baby hair, or my sideburn, excuse me, down in the unit. Now, I am going to just take out a little bit of hair, but it's not for baby hairs. It's just like, you know, a little flyaway wispies. You know how your hair on the edges, it just has a little bit of hairs. You know, if it's not slicked down or gelled down or glued down, you do have a little bit of hairs on the sides that, you know, kind of like fly away. And it always looks natural like that. So that is what I'm going to do with this wig but before I do that I'm going to take my favorite or my, one of my other favorites which is the pump it up super hold hairspray and I'm just going to apply that to the lace as you guys see right here this is how I adhere my wigs and it actually does hold for about four to five days depending on the activities that you're doing I would highly suggest putting on like a nylon headband and then a silk headscarf so that way you get all of the holds and security when you're going to sleep at night that's just what I do I do have a video on how I sleep with my wigs featuring RPG show so I will definitely remember to try to remember to post it below now I do take the nozzle of the blow dryer and I just use it on medium heat and I smooth down the edges this will help me when it's time for me to kind of like smooth down the edges with my hot comb I don't really like to do everything with the hot comb because it's hot so I really don't prefer and in this portion right here I'm just taking the whiskey hairs and just cutting them and brushing them down so that way they look natural you don't want to paste it to your head you just want them a little bit natural I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the opposite side. And I do use the blow dryer on cool just to basically dry the hairspray and mousse product down. You can use a scarf if you don't have a blow dryer, but I prefer to use a blow dryer because it just gives it a better hold and it also doesn't leave your hair smashed down to your head to where you're lifting it back up. So I do prefer to use the blow dryer. And right here, I'm just brushing the wispy hairs out because some of them did get a little bit stuck to my hair when I was blow drying it with the hairspray. So that's the reason why I went ahead and just brushed them up. And this is all of the parting you get. You get a lot of parting. And this is great for a lace front wig because, you know, lace fronts are cheaper. So I definitely would prefer a lace front. And just to smooth it down and make it a little bit slicker and easier to hot comb, I'm going to be using my wax stick. And like I said, you do get one. You can you do get one with your purchase from my first wigs, or you can also buy their wig starter kit, which does come with that wax stick as well. And I'm just going to take the blow dryer and smooth it down once again, and then I'm going to go ahead and hot comb it down just a little bit, so that way it just lays as flat as possible. Make sure to be very careful with this portion. You don't want to burn yourself. Do you guys see how sleek and straight this hair is? And I'm just going to take my Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray and I'm just going to spray some of that onto the hair. So that way when it's time to hot curl it, which I'm going to be using my 8-in-1 eight 8-in-1 eight interchangeable wand system. You guys know I love this so much, but I do have a new one by Numi and I cannot wait to show you guys that one. And I'm just going to hold the hair after I release it from the wand for about 10 seconds to 15 seconds so it can cool down and it doesn't lose its curl. Now you guys know this is repetitive. Um, the barrel size I'm using is, um, I do believe it's the one and a half inch.
and I'm just gonna take a clip to hold it down while I just style the rest of the hair and it's gonna be basically the same thing on the opposite side so I won't show you guys all of that I'll just go straight to the front and then just curl this portion and the curls are so easy to curl it's very soft hair and it's very flowy as well Do you see the bounce and the sheen in this hair? The sheen is absolutely amazing. Now to give my hair a little bit height in the front, I'm gonna take that pump it up along with the instant freeze and I'm gonna take my blow dryer on cool and I'm just going to go ahead and just blow dry that area so that way it's kind of stiff and it does give it a little bit more height and volume in the front area. This hair is absolutely gorgeous. 20 inches, it looks a whole lot longer than that, but I'm not complaining because I love this. I think this is like one of my favorite units by my first wigs, especially since I do have one of their full laces that I did a couple months ago. That one as well is one of my favorites. I still wear that one to this day. They have like the most natural hairline, so I definitely appreciate that. And look at that hairline, girl. What? You cannot tell me nothing, girl, okay? Let's just talk about this wig, y'all, okay? First of all, let's just talk about this wig. This wig is bomb. Like, listen, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to just, well, I'm always honest, but I'm going to just be like, okay, some of y'all are going to be like, oh my God, no. Like, I love all wigs. Like, don't get me wrong. There are wigs that you can hook up to make it look like this. You know what I'm saying? Or somewhat like this. There's ones that you have to customize to your liking. I love all wigs except for like really ugly wigs, like really bad wigs. Like, I don't really like bad wigs because like who would like that but I do love lace wigs and you know each company is different like you know what I'm saying like one company may have to doctor it up a little bit like you know you may have to add a little makeup you may have to put a wig cap on you may have to do a little bit of extra stuff like with baby hairs it all depends on the circumstance of the wig you know what I'm saying but I will be honest and tell you I have gotten wigs over the past month and a half from RPG show and um, my first wigs. And let me tell y'all, these are like the best wigs ever. Like, I'm not even going to exaggerate. I'm not even saying this because of the video. Like, you know, I do have quite a few favorite wig websites, okay, that I frequently review for. And I'm going to just say that my first wigs and RPG show, I can't like separate them because they're the same company. They're like one entity kind of like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to say those, that one right there, them two are like on the top of my list. Like they're number one, they're number uno, number one. Okay. Because for one, I don't never have to do nothing. Like back in the day when I first started rocking with them and doing reviews for them, of course I had to do something. Like, you know, their wigs was not all this. They weren't like too legit to quit. But over the time frame, girl, hunty, you cannot tell me that this is a wig. Like I'll be like, what? This is my hair. B. Okay, I didn't want to say the B word, but you know, like the B bomb. This is definitely my hair. Like, look. First of all, I don't even use glue because first of all, it's messy. It takes too much time and I don't have time for all of that. I just like to use what I like to use. But I didn't even have to do the baby hairs. Well, these aren't even baby hairs. These are like little wispies, okay? The hairline, the freaking lace be so undetectable. Like seriously, you'll be thinking that you just is your hair. Like you'll be thinking you real cute. You know what I'm saying? You outside playing and running your fingers through it. And hopefully you got it glued down good. And you thinking it's yours because it just looks so natural. The next thing you know, you done lifted it up by accident because you just like really, really playing in it. So this is the this will have you feeling like that. Like seriously, look at them edges. Like, okay. And they not even freaking glue down or pasted down the hairs. I just put them there because it looks cute. And this how my own hair be falling when I have it out. This, this is all I do. And it'll stay on for days. Like, seriously, this wig is bomb. This is one of their new arrivals. This is the high density, 200% density unit now y'all know i love wigs that have like a lot of volume a lot of hair like this has enough hair for me like it's not too much it's very like believable like you know what i'm saying i like the density of it some some wigs this would be like 150 or 180 but this is 200 for my first wigs and i like it like i really do love their wigs like i know to some people they may feel like they're very pricey but it all depends on what you choose the lace frontals are the cheapest units that they have and they have to offer along with RPG show. When you go to 360, that's a little bit pricier, but when you go to full lace, blueless, full lace, then of course it's going to be more pricier. 
It's like, look at the lace front. This is just the lace front, okay? And there's so much parting all the way back here on the sides. Like, you cannot go wrong with this. I could put it up in a ponytail, even if I wanted to, even if it's a lace front, you can still do that. Cute little ponytail, too. So you could put it up in a ponytail if you wanted to. You could put it up in a high-low type of thing if you wanted to. You guys can do like some cute little stuff with it in a ponytail. I love their wigs. Like, so you guys, let me know what you think of this one. She is really, really cute. 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 With a K. Cute. Okay. With a K. Yes, this one is bomb as hell. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. I will see you in a soon-to-come video. Thumbs it up. Share it with everybody. And yes, bye.